Hello everyone, I am Chaitra. So I would like to welcome you all to the Triple T Academy YouTube channel. So in this session, we will be discussing about the force. This is the chapter, first chapter of ICSC 10 students. What is force students? So force is nothing but it is a push or pull of an object. So you can see this person is applying a force to that object and you can see the movement of that object. So force is nothing but it is a push or pull of an object. SI unit of force is Newton. So mathematically force can be defined as mass and the acceleration. It is the product of mass and the acceleration and this expression is taken from Newton's second law of motion. So, as I told you, when you apply a force on any object, you can see the motion. So, force can produce motion. So, force will be producing two types of motion. One will be linear motion or a translational motion and another one will be rotational motion. So, what is linear motion or translational motion? Suppose, uh, let me consider this pen as an example so you just see this object students here uh, it is not fixed at any point it is completely fr uh, free to move when you apply a force in any direction to this object it will move in a linear path or it will move in a straight line so that is what such motion is called as linear motion or a translational motion you can see the example here a truck is moving in a straight path so this is what translational motion is so second one will be rotational motion. Rotational motion is nothing but again let me consider this as an object. See one end is fixed. You just imagine this point is fixed. When you apply a force in any direction of this object, you can see it is not moving in a linear. Instead it is rotating about its axis. So such motion is called as rotational motion. For example fan. Fan is rotating about its own axis. So this is about translational motion and the rotational motion. So the rotation will be depending upon the two factors. One will be magnitude of force and another one will be perpendicular distance. You can consider this example here you can see this door. So door is fixed at one end. So this hinge is fixed at one end. When you apply a force at this handle it will be like force will be less because the distance is more when you apply a force at this point distance is less and you need more force to open the door so uh, rotation will depends on two factors one will be magnitude of force and another one will be perpendicular distance so to study the rotation we need to combine magnitude of force and the rotation so this combination is called as torque torque uh, you can also called as moment of force so we'll see what is torque is. It is nothing but it is the product of force and the perpendicular distance. As I told you, you can consider this case only. Here you are applying, if you apply a force at this point, because the distance is more, torque produced will be less. So when you apply a force at this point, distance is less, the torque will be more. So torque is nothing but it depends on the force and the perpendicular distance you can define it as it is the product of force and the perpendicular distance and SI unit of force is Newton and distance will be meter therefore SI unit of torque will be Newton meters so we'll see what is couple so what do you mean by couple students couple is nothing but see you just imagine this object here if your object will be having pivot point or a fixed point at this center point then single force cannot produce a motion let me consider the case or example of a steering wheel you can see here your pivot point or a fixed point is at this center so single force cannot produce the rotation therefore you need one more force to produce rotation so that is what couple is two force will be acting equal and opposite direction in the same line so in this case when you are uh, driving the car you just imagine you are driving a car so you are applying two forces on the equal side of the steering wheel so that is what couple is when you are driving a car turning effect will be produced so that 
turning effect is called as a moment of couple so we'll see what is moment of couple here you are applying a force and again here also you are applying a force but these two forces are equal in magnitude therefore you can define moment of couple as either force and the perpendicular distance between them that is what moment of couple is so si unit of moment of couple is newton meters so we'll see what is equilibrium we'll see the new concept now equilibrium so you can see a person is walking on the rope he is just balancing his body so equilibrium <coughs> equilibrium is nothing but it is a state of balance so when several forces are you can see here when several forces are acting on that object it will not change its state whether it is a rest position or uh, whether it will be in a mo motion so when several forces acting on that object this object is not changing its state whether it is a rest or a motion so this body is said to be in equilibrium you can see in this picture so equilibrium are of two types one will be static equilibrium and another one will be dynamic equilibrium so static equilibrium again you can consider the case of a box which is balancing on the table here uh, four forces are acting on that object but it is not changing its state of rest static is nothing but state of rest when several forces acting on an object if it is not changing its state of rest then such body is said to be in static equilibrium so one more type is dynamic equilibrium so this is one of the example which shows the dynamic equilibrium so what is dynamic equilibrium when several forces are acting on that object it is not changing its motion you can consider the case of an aeroplane aeroplane is moving you know while flying at certain speed at certain uh, height it will be moving in a constant manner the speed will be constant even though several forces are acting on that so this is what dynamic equilibrium is so when an, when several forces are acting on that object it is not changing its state of motion so principle of moments based on equilibrium concept we will be explaining principle of moments you just consider the case of seesaw here you can see two kids were sitting and they are balancing each other so principle of moments is nothing but in equilibrium sum of clockwise moments will be equal to sum of anti clockwise moments this is what principle of moments says so for example seesaw and mathematically it can be expressed as w1 into r1 which is equal to w2 into r2 you just imagine this person uh, will be applying a weight w1 and this person weight will be w2 so from the fulcrum uh, the distance from the fulcrum to this person will be r1 so fulcrum to distance from that person will be r2 so as principle of moments tells uh, sum of clockwise moments will be equal to sum of anti clockwise moments so you will be getting the product of weight and distance of these two kids will be same so center of gravity so what is center of gravity students it is nothing but we know that earth has the property of attracting every object towards its center why because the because there is a pull of gravity or gravitational force will be acting on that object or on earth so center of gravity is nothing but it will be it is a point where you can see the point here it is the point where entire weight of this object is concentrated you can see the same picture in different manners so the center of point will be here for this case point will be here it is the point where weight of the entire object is concentrated this is what center of gravity okay center of gravity is depend uh, usually center of gravity depends on weight of the particle which is uh, defined as it is the product of mass and acceleration due to gravity so we will see what is center of mass so center of mass and center of gravity will be different because mass and weight are two different quantities so in this case it is a point where weight of the entire object is concentrated but for this case 
the mass of the entire object will be concentrated you just see this uh, picture geometrical shapes are shown here they are symmetrical objects symmetry in sense mirror object or uh, you can see the replica of that object so for these cases center of mass will be same but if you consider the case of asymmetrical object center of mass will be different so this is how we find out center of mass for symmetrical objects and asymmetrical objects so uniform circular motion so you can see in this picture a car is rotating about its axis and it is moving in a circular path so what is uniform circular motion circular motion itself tells it is moving in a circular path so here object is moving in a circular path but when you consider the case of a circular path speed will be constant because at every point direction will be changing so velocity is also changing but speed remains constant but if you consider the case of elliptical path there you can see at this point speed will be varying again if that object move in that position the speed will be varying so here speed will be remaining constant when an object moving in a circular path the speed remains constant so such motion is called as uniform circular motion so if you need more videos you can subscribe to our channel thank you